Hey, today we are in Burgundy, France. Burgundy sits in the central east part of France. We chose to make Bonn our home base. Today we'll peruse a market, take the local tourist train, hike in the vineyards, check out a wine museum, and a whole lot more. So let's get going. Oh boy, beautiful, isn't it? During the two weeks we were in Burgundy, we took drives like this every day. The Bone Market is kind of famous in the Burgundy region. You can buy everything from produce to paintings and anything in between, including this humongous block of cheese. And whatever you can't find in the market, you can find at the local store. Just remember to take your backpack to carry things home. We happened on to this refurbished abbey and uh, found that there was an art exhibition going on inside. So we thought we'd go in and take a look. And we were lucky enough to meet the artist. Uh, I use uh, uh, stretched canvas as for any other sort of paintings. And uh, on the surface I glue uh, uh, parts of newspapers. Uh, without any um, uh, premoni uh, without thinking uh, of what I would obtain. Of course, the whole region of Burgundy is famous for wine. One of the neat things about Bonn is that uh, the, the vineyards start just outside of town. So it's really easy to take a walk. We went in the morning and uh, the sun was coming up. It was beautiful. You'll find that the trails are well marked and uh, there's uh, information on the vines and the terroir.
since much of Bonn's economy depends on tourists, there are lots of cafes to take care of those tourists. And that's a good thing. Here Sharon checks out the menu of Le Parisien. My pot of beef bourguignon runneth over. Our weather in Bonn this time wasn't ideal. It was a little cool for August. On this particular day, we were successful in waiting out the weather. And so we got in a great hike. With the help of my GPS, we discovered this ancient burial site. Well, we weren't the first to discover it. <laughs> then we found this great spot to pull off and had lunch in the car. Bone has a nice little park just out of town. It has a beautiful lake where you can rent these rowboats. Hotel Dieu Museum is probably one of the most famous sites in Bonn. But the line was usually pretty long and it was kind of expensive. So we opted not to go in. But if you're interested, check out Rick Stee's video on Burgundy on YouTube. You'll get a good look at the uh, iconic roof and also the interior. And if you decide you want to go, just go along with Rick and his little friend. The rampart is a medieval wall that encircles the city. It was there for protection. Um, a lot of it is still there, but uh, a lot has also been destroyed. So you'll find a piece and then have to kind of work your way around to, to find the rest of the wall. I happened onto this uh, bus tour and uh, if you know what I think about bus tours, you know, once you get in you can't get out. <laughs> anyway, once you make it to this uh, petite Arc de Triomphe, you've made it all the way around. All good tourist towns have a tourist train. They're actually really good for getting the lay of the land. Seeing some things you might not find on your own. This one actually took us out into the vineyards. before bringing us back to town. If you
you like history, you'll enjoy stopping by the Wine Museum. For only about 8 euros, you'll get to see ancient wine flasks, as well as some of the tools they use to work in the vineyard. At the end, you'll get to test your knowledge of wine. You can smell into these flasks and uh, you'll get notes of smoke or lavender or citrus, perhaps mushroom. You guess and then lift up the card and see if you're right. Well, we endured the train, saw an art exhibition, and went to the market. But by far the most popular thing to do in Bonn is wine tasting. Because hey, it's Burgundy. So anywhere you see something that says Domain, that's a vineyard. In town, Bonn has many wine and tasting shops where for a fee you can taste the wines of Burgundy. One of the things I love to do the most is uh, just Taking a drive, getting out into the country, seeing some of the small, neat towns that are out there. What might you see, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. You can see a neat old farmhouse like this or a World War II monument. Maybe a church with a cemetery. Or these happy dogs. There's always a castle or two. We were driving around in this small town when I found a plum tree. They were just barely ripe, but they were good. You never know what neat things you'll find when you're off the beaten track. If you like this video, be sure to check out these also on the Burgundy area.